it's an incredible blessing to be at Boston. It's something that we marathoners strive to earn the right to participate in the world's oldest continuing marathon, the granddaddy of all marathons. I'm very grateful and blessed that I've been here for my fourth consecutive year. There is an overwhelming sense of history in the air with uh, the many, many years that have been, this course has been active during that, that particular, this particular race. So it's, it's very, very meaningful that you're part of history and you're part of this huge running community and also the fact that the camaraderie here is so palpable. It's, uh, you can, you, you walk down the streets in Boston and you run into someone you know from Fredericksburg, Virginia, or for some other, I actually met someone today who's a coach in Greece. He saw my hat, my, my, I have a Greek hat on. Yeah. And he made a comment and said, well, I hope you do well. It's nice to know that you like Greece. And he invited me to participate in the, the classic Greek marathon in Athens someday. And I want to go and run that one. Hopefully that's on my bucket list. So to be here, short order, it's, it's an incredible experience. And uh, I don't take it for granted at all. And I'm very, very happy to do that. Representing my hometown of Fredericksburg, Virginia. Uh, and also the people, my family and friends and colleagues. Well, and, and to be here, you've got to qualify. This isn't qualify. like a race that you just sign up right. for. You qualify for this race based on, there are a number of other races that are qualifiers for the Boston Marathon, and I was able to do so in, in earlier events and have been able to, you know, to, to come back this year. So it's something we work and strive for. Uh, this, this marathon and the New York City Marathon are two of those races you qualify for and participate in. So and I'm very excited. I'll be running the New York City Marathon in November this year mm -hmm. as well. So that'll be my first time in that particular marathon. That's the biggest. This is the oldest. Mm -hmm. and, and this one, I know I've heard that really nearly all 26.2 miles, you've got people cheering you on. I can tell you for um, as a veteran now, a four year, uh, this is my fourth year being in this race, that from start to finish, on both sides of the road, there are cheering spectators. I have never been in a race where there is that much public participation. It's a state holiday known as Patriots Day. So everyone comes out and they're very much into cheering every single runner. So if you can't get excited about being in the race from all that energy that's been passed on to you through cheering and the well wishes and support, then maybe you shouldn't be at Boston. So it, 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 it makes you do well, you know, to, to have yeah. that support. It's incredible. How much training goes in to being a marathon runner? Well, if you're embarking on your first marathon experience, the minimum uh, time is about six months to really be prepared for your first marathon. So if there are people out there watching or listening, we encourage them to you know, follow uh, appropriate training resources, uh, coaching to make sure you spend a good six months getting ready for your first marathon. Uh, I train all year long. I train six days a week. I put in about 70 miles a week on uh, various uh, I various training regimens I go through to prepare yeah. as we get closer and closer to a marathon. But it's a very, it's a time investment, uh, a great time investment. But it's something you're either passionate about or not. And to me, after 28 years of me away from the sport, I was involved in high school as a long distance runner, a little bit in college, and then got away from it through my career. But I got back involved uh, competitively five years ago, and I'm hooked, completely hooked. It's something that's near and dear to me as much as my connection to history and historic preservation, as you know, my other worlds I work in, and archaeology, I'm very, very passionate about uh, long distance running and marathon running. It's well, incredible, it's incredible to be involved in the sport. And for somebody like you, who in our area is so connected with history, to be in Boston and running through all the history here has got to be extra it special. Is, it is. It's, it's amazing you ask that question. One of my close running buddies, Bob Coolidge, who lives in Minnesota, uh, he passed on uh, a bit of a well-wishing to me the other day and said to me that I wish you could be running as James Monroe in that race. He was a great patriot and you're a great man. I was very, I was very humbled by the compliment. I'm not a great man, but I represent James Monroe. Uh, in various portrayals for the James Monroe Museum in Fredericksburg and elsewhere. And I was very uh, complimented by that remark. By the way, this is, tomorrow is known as Patriots Day. It is the commemoration of the beginning of the American Revolution. So it's a state holiday in Massachusetts. So your analogy to the fact that it's important to be involved uh, and have a connection to history and to patriotism is very important because this is a big day in, in New England. Not only race-wise, mm -hmm. history-wise. 
Yes, sir. But, well, and you and others from the Fredericksburg area that are in Boston right now, you can get there, join up with the Fredericksburg Area Running Club. There yes. are races, so many races There's around. There's so many races in the Fredericksburg Area. If you're, if you're interested in the sport, uh, go online, check out some of the resources. Stop by some of the local uh, running uh, stores, Jane Runner and others that are, uh, that are experts in helping fit people with the proper shoes. Also provide some great advice. Talk to some local coaches, get some opinions from other marathoners and long distance runners and get involved and, and see if you like try to try the sport. It's a great way uh, to stay healthy. And the if you're you know interested in racing, um, right competition, this is the place to be. And this is, again, the granddaddy of all marathons in the world. It's gonna be an incredible day tomorrow and I wish all those participating uh, to have a wonderful race and a safe and, and uh, uh, safe race as well. We will next see you in a couple of weeks for James Monroe's birthday. That's right, on Saturday, April 30th. Um, very much looking forward to portraying someone else without the beard, of course. <laughs> this is my marathon beard. It will not be present. I want to make sure Scott Harris hears that. I will not have the beard in, uh, uh, in, on the 30th. So um, looking forward to portraying my, my, my alter ego in Fredericksburg. And uh, don't forget, um, on the 15th of May is the Fredericksburg, excuse me, Marine Corps Historic Path. A huge, oh, huge race in Fredericksburg. The Marine Corps Marathon officials put on, and that's going to be a big race in Fredericksburg. About 6,000 runners participate in that. Huge, huge race. Middle of May. Yeah.